In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to use scripts to change the properties of our parts. To get started, let's go and add a, a part to your game. I'm going to use a sphere and I'm going to move my camera to get closer to my part. Now let's change the name of my part to ball. Okay, so uh, when you select the ball, you're going to see uh, the ball's properties in the properties window. If you don't see that window, you can go to view and you can uh, click on Explorer and properties to, to open those windows. Now let's go back to the home tab. So the first property that we're going to want to look at is the transparency of the part. I initially, when you create the part, the transparency is zero. But if you change that to one, you can see the, uh, the part is completely transparent. So it, it, you cannot see the part anymore, it disappears. If you make it like 0.8, then uh, it's uh, pretty much see-through, see but you can still see the part. So I'm gonna change this back to zero. And now we're gonna use script to change the transparency of that part back to 0.8. So um, to use script to change the transparency, first let's click on your part and then you see a plus sign, click on that plus sign right next to your part and select script. We're going to start by declaring a local variable. So I'm going to say local and we can call it ball equals to script dot parent. So basically my script is here. The parent of my script is the ball. So I'm declaring the ball to be the script dot parent, which means Whenever I want a reference to the ball, I can use this variable to reference to my ball. Next, I'm gonna reference to my ball. So using the variable, I'm gonna say ball. And I want to change the uh, properties of that ball. So the properties name is transparency. So I'm gonna say ball.transparency. And again, we wanna change it to 0.8. So currently, it is zero. Now I'm just gonna put in a wait here because I don't want to. I don't want it to change immediately. I want to give it some time before it changes. So I'm gonna wait for ten seconds before I change it to uh, before I change the transparency to 0.8. So now let's play and take a look. And hopefully ten seconds is enough for me to get to my ball because I'm not sure, oh, it's very far away. So now you can see the ball very clearly, right? And in, well, it has already changed. So uh, you see the script changed the transparency of the ball to 0.8, so now it's, uh, it's pretty much see-through. All right, so that's, uh, that's how you use script to change the transparency property of a part. Next, let's look at a different type of properties. So it's still gonna be a property of that ball, but it's gonna be a different type. So our first type of property is a number, and we can change it to a different number by assigning a different value to that property. Um, the next property that we're gonna look at is the anchored property. And as you can see right now, it's unchecked that box. So if I, I'm going to move the ball into mid-air and leave it there. So if I press play right now, the ball is going to drop to the ground because it, it is not anchored. So um, we're going to use script to anchor the ball so that it stays in mid-air. To do that, let's go back to your script. And we're going to remove the weight for 10 seconds here because I want to lock the ball in as soon as I go into the game. So we're still going to declare the ball to be script.parent because it is it still is our script parent is the ball. And then instead of changing the ball transparency property, 
we want to change the ball anchor property. And this property is gonna be, where, where's my prop? Oh, you gotta, you gotta select the ball first and then you look for the uh, anchor property. It should be near the bottom. And here this is right here. So right now it's unchecked, uh, means that it's not anchored. Um, means uh, means it is false. So if you want to check that box, you want the script to check that box, you gotta set that property to true. So true means that it's, that box is gonna be checked by the script and the ball is gonna be anchored and it's not gonna drop to the ground. Uh, let's take a look. And right there, you can see the ball is flying in mid-air, it's hanging in mid-air, and it's not dropped to the ground because it is anchored. And it is the script that is doing that. All right, so that's the second type of property that you can change. The first type is a number. You can change to a different number. The second type is a checkbox, and you can put in a true or false value. Now let's go and take a look at our third type of properties. The third type is one that you have already seen. Um, it, it is the uh, brick color. So we, we change it all the time by going over to the brick color and manually select like a new color. So now we want to change that in our in our game using the script. Let, let's go to the script first. And there, there are two ways of doing it. So the first way is, let me just put in a weight here so you can see the color changes. So I'm gonna just, I'm, I'm gonna do a weight for 10 seconds. And then I declare my, my ball to be the script that parent, so that still holds. And then to change the um, the brick color property again, you're gonna do ball dot brick color, and you set it equal to. But here you you need to specify brick color first. So you cannot just pick a color here. You gotta say brick color, and then when you put a dot, it gives you a list of colors for you to select. So if you wanna change it to a red ball, you can select red. So that's gonna change the ball to red. Now, another way to change the brick color is, so I'm, got, I'm just gonna put it in a weight for seven seconds, let's say. And I'll show you another way to change the brick color. So again, we're gonna say ball dot brick color equals to brick color dot and now instead of selecting a color i'm gonna say dot new and i'm gonna put in the uh, double quotes in here and then i can select a color from this list in here so this list actually gives me more more variety of colors uh, some of the colors i don't even know what color they are uh, let's try uh so first one is red uh why don't we try daisy orange i i guess it should be orange but let's take a look press play so it's gonna take about 10 seconds before it changes to the first color which is red and you, you can see the ball is on the ground and there it is it's red you see, because we took away the anchor, we, we're not setting the anchor anymore, that's why it's rolling away. And that is the uh, daisy orange, I, I believe it, it was. It, it doesn't look orange, it looks more like yellow, but that's what it is, daisy orange. Oh, I, I, I get it, it, it's like the uh, daisy flower. All right, so anyway, so that's how you change the parts properties using scripts in Roblox. 
if you would like to have some additional material to work on prior to the next lesson being posted, you can go to our YouTube channel, Price CP Roblox, and click on the playlist here. We, we have a bunch of different playlists. Um, there are two good playlists for new beginners here. The first one is the Price CP Roblox New Beginner Series, which we are working on right now. And um, you can also go to Price CP Roblox Extreme Simple Series. Th this series is actually a very good series for new beginners. Um, just start with lesson number 001 and then go go in sequence like go zero, from 01 to 0203 because each new lesson um, the material is uh, is based upon the material that you learned from the previous lesson. So if you go out of order some of the um, material you may not be familiar with. All right so until next time. Have fun creating your own Roblox games.